I want truth here and truth in love. When I say that, I mean I had a Moses moment. Hear me. Oh, hear me. Oh, pay heed. The Lord, the Lord Jehovah has given unto you these 15. Oi. Ten, ten commandments for all to obey. I'm not afraid to say that publicly because I was called by the Most High to speak truth. Hello everyone, welcome to another video. I am Rider of Dinosaurs. As you can see, today we'll be analyzing JM Truth's participation in modern day debate. At the time of this video, I don't know if I'll be able to cover it in one video. So, I may need to create a short series. Let me know in the comment section if you'd like that. And now, without further ado, let's get started. I would encourage you to go to jmtruth.com. I am not, I am a man of science and I'm a man of truth. <laughs> you serious? I'm not a man of faith. Why? Because scripture says, the father said, I am your father. Test all things. Cling to that which is true. Did you know that the word faith does not, ex does not <laughs> exist in scripture, in the ancient scripture, even once? I mean, he's not wrong. The English word faith is nowhere in the Hebrew Bible because, well, it's in Hebrew, right? The closest thing is this word that translate to faith. Because that word translate to faith, JM is technically wrong again. What a surprise. The word faith didn't even exist. It was created by the Greeks and is actually a Greek god. Our survey said... Where to start with this one? Only JM can make two incorrect statements in five seconds. First claim. The word faith didn't even exist. It was created by the Greeks. After a little bit of googling, I found out that the English word faith originated from the Latin fides. Then to the old French, I can't pronounce it. <laughs> and finally to the English faith. And now for the second claim. And is actually a Greek god. If you all remember, a few moments ago, I showed this word that was translated to faith. What would happen if we translate it to Greek? As you can see, it translates to Pisti or Pistis. And Pistis is a Greek deity. What Pistis isn't is a god, but a goddess. And I don't know about you, but I don't think it's the same thing. At least not for me. So when you use the word faith, just so you know, you're actually calling on a Nephilim spirit. So let's just cast that down right now. Why are you so angry? Now, if I can also share with you, Job speaks to the flat earth, okay? Okay. Absolutely does in Hebrew. So here's my problem with this. Since I don't speak Hebrew, and the people on modern day debate don't either, I'm assuming, any of those claims fall flat. We can't verify them. But at the same time, although I cannot verify it, I can also dismiss it. How? The best way I know using J.M.'s own words against him. So, the claim is... Job speaks to the flat earth. Okay? Absolutely does in Hebrew. Because Hebrew has a word for ball and a word for a flat, round disc. The word is dur. I played a little bit more of the claim to show you that J.M. has no evidence, proof, just claims. Taking that into account, Let's dismiss it. That's another issue that I have personally is people need to cite their source when they when they present something. Okay, to say Galileo said X Y Z, I need to cite a source that can reference that, and then also that has proof or evidence that that statement was in fact actually said by Galileo. 
See, very easy. That is very descriptive. In fact, the ancient text was very descriptive. The reason that they changed the languages is to confuse your lying tongue. Okay? Okay. So let's also make that. I am a highly educated man as well, and I'm not big on education. You don't need to tell us. We already knew you're not big on education. <laughs> As for the higher educated part, 10 to the negative 17 guys, just to cover this again, the 18th billionth time, 10 to the negative 17 is negative 17 10 times. So it's still a negative number, folks. Okay, it's always a negative number because you're multiplying by negative numbers? Yes. What, that, like, I have... Basically, when you, go, when you go 10 to the negative 17, you're going to the right side of the decimal point. Yep. So you're, into the, you're already into the negative fractions. Will you admit moves? that you're wrong then, Jam and uh, Nathan? Uh, I'm, I'm not wrong. I know mathematics. I know how math works. There's people in the YouTube chat telling you you're wrong, even flatter. I don't, give a, I don't give a crap what people in YouTube have to say. Well, I you, really you don't. You are wrong, though. Look up scientific notation. Okay? I have looked up scientific notation. I'm well aware of what scientific notation is, but you also believe that you're spinning. So just pulled up a calculator. 10 times negative 17 is 170 negative. Wow. Just, just wow. like, like and scientific notation... Right out the window. Here you go. It's negative 170. So Tim, go to your school. Go to school, dude. <laughs> Don't come here and argue with me. Yeah. And I must have like really like set him off when I showed the 117 just now. Negative 117. Yeah. Negative no, 170. That must My have bad. triggered him, bro. I am sorry about the long clip, but I needed to show you how highly educated JM is. And despite this being a classic, it's the perfect example of his education. Okay, but I also have a background in film. Ah, uh, yes. The long history of GM's film career as a filmmaker, producer, director, whatever. The person who still uses the same lame filters as he did in 2013. Don't believe me? Check this out. I always knew the law would catch up to us eventually. Granted that the effect is not as heavy in the 2022 video as it is in the 2013 one, but it's still there. All of us who know GM know he loves to add qualifications to his curriculum. He decided to add a new one. But before I tell you which one, let us review all the other ones. Actor. Biochemist. Carpenter. Chef. Chemist. Choreographer. Cinematographer, cleaner, dancer, director, executive producer, filmmaker, gaffer, gardener, graphic designer, leader of a prayer group, marketeer, medic, mortarman, philosopher, photo forensics, photographer, physicist. Research scientist, screenwriter, singer, sniper, modified, teacher, writer, theologian, video editor, web designer, and now. Graphic design. Yes, you heard it. Graphic design. Rocket design, of course. Why not? Let's stop here before the computer breaks down again. As mentioned in the beginning, there's a lot more to address. 
If you like this and want more, please like, subscribe and leave a comment saying that you want more of this. I'd like to also thank my viewers, subscribers, members of this channel as well as my Patreons. Without any of you and your support, this channel would not exist. And this is all I have for you today. I hope you enjoyed it. See you in my next video. Thank you.